Several times I get comments or questions such as this one about how I prepare sharp corners for V-carve inlays with the tapered ball nose bit. NCK33867 writes, what do you do about sharp corners with the TBN? Make the radius for all sharp corners? If you've ever bought image files or downloaded them from the internet, you'll sometimes encounter vectors that are not ready for carving. I'm Thomas Kangas with TK Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you a way you can prepare the vector images to carve with Vectric VCarve Desktop, Pro, or Aspire software. Additionally, I will show you how you can perform this task even faster using VCarve Pro or Aspire with the use of R Radius All Corners gadget. <laughs> So the first thing we need to do is determine if our corners actually need to be radiused or whether or not our tool will work for the vector. In order to do that, I like to open up my tool database. And in my tool database, I select the bit that I'm going to be using to do the carving. In my case, it's the speed tool W0. 1005 tapered ball nose bit with a 5.26 degree angle and a 0.25 millimeter tip radius as we see here. So next we will go ahead and create a circle and we're going to use the radius and give it our radius of our tool. So in my case it's a 0.25 millimeter tip in inches that is 0 0.0098 inches if you happen to be using inches for your workspace. So now we'll go ahead and drag out to one of our corners and create our tool or create our tip, our circle, sorry. And what we're going to do is we're going to edge that up along any of our corners and you see we only get so far before our tip is unable to reach the far reaches of the corner. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my circle down into the corner to where there's an intersection and we will create a radius with that. What we want is we want to make sure that we're overlapping on both sides. And then we can use our trim tool and we'll trim the outside vector and we'll trim that inside vector. And we don't quite have a clean break there, so we're going to go edit the node here, and we're going to drag this node to where it intersects. And then we could go back and do our final snip there, and our snip here, and when we close it joins the nodes. So now when our circle comes through we should have a reasonably clear path around this corner. It'll go to the edge and move along. Now the downside of this is that it is kind of tedious to have to do this with each and every corner but if you're using VCarve desktop you're pretty much going to be limited to that. And it is tedious, it is time consuming, but it is an absolute necessity to be done if you intend to get good fitting inlays. So before I did anything with this vector, I made a copy of it on a new layer to keep and maintain the original. So we'll switch our new layer on. And if you look at this, you can see where the cut was radiused. If you're a Vectric Pro or an Aspire user, you're in luck. There is an easier way to remove all the tediousness of removing or radiusing these corners one at a time. And we're going to do that through the use of a gadget that's called the Radius All Corners gadget. In order to get to this, 
we're going to open up gadgets and say about gadgets and here you'll see there's a website gadgets.vectric.com that you can access the gadgets on so we will go ahead and pull that up and the gadget that we're looking for was actually released in version 10 so we're going to go all the way to the bottom and scroll or click where it says version 10 and then we're going to scroll down to our drawing gadgets and what we want is the radius all corners gadget click on that click on download gadget and then you can save the file you notice that it has a dot zip extension and I'm going to show you what you'll need to do with that if you're working with version 12 of Vectric vCarve. So we'll save that. We'll save that file. And then when you're in the folder, you'll have to rename the file to radiusallcorners.vgadget in order to be able to import it into Vectric version 12. So we can close that, go back up to our, go up to gadgets and install new gadget. And we're going to go to we're going to go to our downloads folder. And we're going to take the radius all corners V gadget and open. And we'll see that the gadget is successfully installed. So now in order to use the gadget, we're going to go ahead and highlight our vector. Go under gadgets. Go down to radius all corners. Click on OK. Now for our radius options, this is where we need to put in our size. Uh, put in the size based upon the workspace that you're working in. If you're working in, in inches, put it in as inches. If you're working in millimeters, put it in, in millimeters. So I'm going to do internal and external corners at 0.25 millimeters. And we're going to go ahead and create a layer and we're going to call it the radius all corners layer. And then we can go ahead and click on OK. And now, if we look at our, or turn off our original vector, we'll see that all corners are radius and should now be able to be cut. Hopefully you found this video to, to be helpful in preparing your vectors for v-carving. If you're still with me, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and hype this video to help me get more exposure for my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching, and here's some other videos I think you'll enjoy.